is it like five people, 10, 100? You know, how many effective relationships can you really have in the workplace? Well, you can't have that many because you have to do the work. Uh, <laughs> so you got to lead, lead some time. But I would say the effectiveness of the relationship and the number is really driven off of what you're trying to accomplish. There are a lot of doors that are closed. You want to make sure that if it's a topic that's going to benefit you, you need someone with relationship with you in that room. So someone that opens the door, that's another relationship. Someone that checks you when it's off, you are off. You know, you you know, negotiate with your or contract with your colleagues. Hey, we're gonna go into this meeting. I'm really working on these behavioral things. Can you call me? Take note, let's talk about it after the meeting and being open. Those are the people that you need. Um, and then there's some people you just enjoy eating lunch with. You know, everyone has value, but I don't think you need hundreds of them. Um, I, I don't because you can't keep up with it. It's too much to nurture. Mm -hmm. um, so I think whatever you can manageably nurture, you know, where you can pour in and give some real um, useful uh, impact or contributions to that particular relationship, that's what you do. But you don't need everyone. And sometimes people show up and they come in and they go out. And they right. go, come in and they go out. And so it's just like a wave. 